let's let's go to part 4 of uh, this chapter continue with more problems on resolution here's the next one tony harry and allen belong to the hoofers club every mem- member of the club is either a skier or a mountain climber or both no mountain climber likes rain and skiers like snow allen dislikes whatever tony likes and likes whatever tony dislikes tony likes rain and snow is there a member in the club who is a mountain climber but not a skier well if you compare this problem to the previous one what you will find is that the previous question was easier for us to understand or uh, begin with because you had statements given to you in the form of uh, uh, separate separate statements so that we could just convert them to predicate straight away now over here the information is given to us in the paragraph form but it doesn't make a difference all i need to do is i need to represent information as always the four steps of resolution what are they convert the statements to predicate logic second convert them to cnf third negate the conclusion and fourth is resolve so let us let us go to step 1 wherein we'll convert the information in the statement into predicate logic now over here i've just given you this here so that we don't have to keep going back to the previous slide tony harry and allen belong to the hoofers club so we've gone like this tony is a member and harry is a member and allen is a member every member of the club is either a skier or a mountain climber or both now observe this for all x if x is a member then x is either a skier or x is a mountain climber but there might be certain members that is why there exist where y is a member and sorry implies where y is a skier as well as a mountain climber okay no mountain climber likes rain and skiers like snow if a is a mountain climber mountain climber does not like rain and skiers like snow and if b is a skier then b likes snow now the interesting one Allen dislikes whatever Tony likes and likes whatever Tony dislikes so for all C if there is something that Tony likes Allen is not going to like it and the other way around if there is something that Tony does not like then Allen is bound to like it Tony likes rain and snow so Tony likes rain and snow so Tony likes rain and Tony likes snow fine the question now is is there a member in the club who is a mountain climber but not a skier well for us to go ahead and process this we need to first convert them to cnf now converting the statement to cnf using the laws that we saw in the previous video this is how we do it now eliminating and operators from the first statement so member tony member harry and member allen all become independent uh, information now again if you look at this particular law it's always first we need to eliminate this implication so this is not of left hand side or right hand side so this is not of left hand side or right hand side and when i open this it becomes not of this or this or this pretty straight forward then the next statement that we have is that the statement number 4 here mountain climber a is not like rain and snow then we'll convert it accordingly so if you look at this statement what we've done is using the laws that we saw in the previous video we've converted all the statements back to cnf so this is my step to all my statements are back to cnf now it is high time you need to start solving these questions on your own you should not be relying on the solutions which i'm providing you okay step 3 would be negate the conclusion observe this now over here we need to check is there a member who is a mountain climber but not a skier this is what i am required to prove collectively but then i need to go to resolution using this statement we always start with whatever we have in step 3 but i cannot go with this statement directly because this is not in cnf and my step 4 which is resolution always needs stuff in cnf so here i convert it to cnf first How, how how do we do this observe this please i'll first negate the conclusion now once i negate this and once i open these brackets this becomes not of member x this and becomes or de morgan's laws again not of mountain climber x or not of skier x if you see this statement is now now in cnf okay so taking this statement number 3 now i go to my step 4 which is resolve Now over here again for cancelling any of these for cancelling not of member I need member something not of mountain climber I need mountain climber something or 
for cancelling skier i need not of not of skier now i could have used any predicate that goes with this or cancels any of these i've gone with this i'm just cancelling off i've got an exact match maybe yes so not of mountain climber and mountain climber gets cancelled off now whatever remains over here now please understand this i have not of member x here and not of member x here i've got skier x here i've got skier x here now that doesn't mean ki i'll take both these predicates see basically it's the same information so i'm not going to repeat this so not of member x comes once here and skier x comes once over here i guess this is fine i'm not going to repeat the predicates here okay then i take this particular predicate where i can cancel of this and this provided x is replaced by b this is what i'm left with now for cancelling this i'm taking these predicates not to forget i'm taking all these predicates from step number 2 now i can cancel this and this now observe this now over here likes b snow i'm cancelling with not likes allen c so you need to replace b with allen and c with snow please remember a variable can always be replaced with a proper noun now once i do that this and this gets cancelled what remains is the remaining two predicates this one gets carried forward b has been replaced with allen this has is carried forward where c has been replaced with snow and this is how again after cancelling it i come to this particular statement see step 4 honestly is very 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 simple just make sure that you study my the the pri previous video properly and study the first problem properly and then you come to a conclusion like this so over here i can say that yes there is a member who is a not a um, uh, who is a member uh, who's a mountain climber but not a skier so different ways of asking the questions based on the same concept let's look at one more uh this this is the conclusion that we are making at the end of every problem on resolution okay now this is a very 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 interesting one i i insist that you try this one on your own first if you can get this nothing like it if not you'll enjoy solving this problem just read it this could be a good laugh for you today okay here's the question i married a widow w now please understand this whenever i put anything inside brackets like this and say if i'm using upper case letters this is like a proper noun this is like i'm naming someone okay i married a widow who had a grown up daughter d my father f who visited us quite often fell in love with my step daughter and married her hence my father became my son in law and my step daughter became my mother Some months later my wife gave birth to a son S1 who became the brother-in-law of my father as well as my uncle the wife of my father that is my step daughter also had a son S2 do you feel that one can claim that i am my own grandfather use resolution to evaluate the above problem add suitable clauses if needed now first and foremost let's not judge the person that's not what we are here for let's just solve this as a problem Now please understand this now this is one such question which is pretty trivial now when i say trivial what i mean is they have given us some information but if i just go ahead and take this problem ahead like we did with the previous cases i'm not going to get this one because i'll definitely need to add some information when i say i'm adding some information i'm not adding anything on my own i'm going to use certain inferences to help me go ahead with the solution also if you've not gone through my uh, videos for the predicate logic please do that because i'm going to be using in uh, the concept of inverse relations over here so let us let us try and understand first of all let us try and figure out can i actually prove that i am my own grandfather using this information and if yes then what is the additional information that i may need if at all to prove whatever is needed let us let us look at the solution observe this i married a widow all these are proper nouns say i and w who had a grown up daughter d my father fell in love with my step daughter married her so understand this this my father right married the step daughter so this is how it is right and then there's lot of other information given in the question blah 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 which which actually is of no interest to me because i am only interested in proving that i am my own grandfather now understand this there are so many different ways in which i can prove that uh, um, that i am my own grandfather right now i'm going to use this particular uh, this particular route now understand this i am son to f and f is say father to me right So for me to prove that I am my own grandfather I need to prove that I am my daughter's son 
because effectively effectively if i am my daughter's son i am still my own grandfather so this is one possible solution there are so many relations that you can derive and you can you can use that but this is what i'm going to do i am my daughter's son right also strictly see over here i'm going to use lot of predicates say say father say f is father to i instead of writing f is father to i i can always write i is son to f these are inverse relations the idea here is if i have a predicate called father and if i have a predicate called son i cannot go to my step 4 and cancel off these predicates so wherever possible we'll keep using in uh, uh, we'll, we'll keep using inverse relations and we'll use the same set of predicates let us see how does this go observe this i married a widow married i comma w who had a grown up daughter d so d is daughter to w but over here because i want to go this I, it has been told that d is daughter to w but i am taking an inference that now that i am married to w d is also daughter to me so that is what i am adding over here that d is daughter to i my father father f who visited us quite often fell in love with my step daughter and married her right observe this my father now over here i'm not using the predicate father i could have very well used father f comma i but because this is an inverse relation and i don't want to use a different predicates for uh, representing the same information i've gone with son i comma f so that is what i've got over here my father my father hence my fa father became my son in law sorry before that it says father married my step daughter so that is f married d father becomes my son in law take care and then then comes my step daughter became my mother again if you see i could have used the predicate mother but i don't want to use that instead of saying that d is mother to i i am saying i am son to d again an inverse relation please remember apart from inverse relations i cannot do this with any other set of predicates continuing over here some months later my wife gave birth to son s1 and then some more information who became my brother in law of my father as well as my uncle so s1 becomes brother in law of my father as well as my uncle and then we uh, i also had a um, son called s2 and stuff now though we know that this information pertaining to brother in law or son in law or uncle is actually not needed for me to generate the solution but because it is given i need to represent this in the form of uh, form of predicates because it i may not need it to answer the question that we are currently looking at but i might need it for some other information also when we spoke about resolution we mentioned this very clearly that i need not use all the information available to me when i'm going for uh, for resolution anyways now the good part over here is if you see i guess all my statements are pretty much in cnf so my step 2 is going to remain pretty much the same but understand this now look at look at this now this is the the most important part over here i am supposed to talk about my own grandfather now if you look at this if you look at this nothing over here mentions grandfather there is no predicate called grandfather so i'll never be able to reach to say concluding anything pertaining to grandfather so what i'm going to do is using all this information i'm using going to use this inference and now i'm going to add some information wherein i'll also add this predicate called grandfather now observe this so i'm adding an additional predicate over here for all i for all j for all k if j is daughter to i and k is son to j what this means is that i is grandfather to k now please wherever we have lower case these are all variables whatever we had in upper case we are going to treat them as proper nouns right okay now over here understand this this rule number 11 is extremely important for us because over here i could have used so many different predicates but this is what i'm planning to do that is why i've added this one now converting to cnf my my predicates from 1 to 10 are already in cnf now i'm just converting my predicate number 11 to cnf and this is what is the solution so finally my step 2 in cnf comes out to be this Honestly, I'm pretty much done with this. There's nothing much as far as the steps three and four are concerned. But the key is, most students will falter with step number one, and they'll never get started with this question. So it's 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 easier said than done. Try solving this on your own. So what do I need to prove? I am my own grandfather. I'll start by negating it. 
I'll go to resolution. Hardly any predicates needed now. Please, wherever you have a variable, you can replace with uh, an uppercase letter because they are proper nouns for us. But you cannot replace an uppercase letter with an uppercase letter because it will be like you'll be replacing a proper noun with a proper noun. And this is how you will come to the conclusion. So finally, I'm in a position to prove that I am my own grandfather, right? Okay, so these were a couple more problems on, on resolution. Taking a break again from you. Thank you for studying with Junk Minds. Meet me in the next part to go through the last part of 